Let's talk about the sexiest word floating around the internet in 2022. Inflation. That seems to be all people are talking about in the US these days. It's all over the news, Twitter, and the comment section of videos about chocolate chip cookies. Honestly, why do people jump into comment sections with political talking points on videos that have nothing to do with that garbage? It's weird. Stop it. Inflation isn't just happening in the US though. Most industrial countries are in the same boat as we are as we speak. But here in the United States, Americans are facing the highest inflation rates they've seen in decades, making it harder for them to afford everyday goods and services. We all know we got the inflation on and things cost more, but how much more? Lucky for us, the United States Congress tracks all this stuff down and uploads it so we can understand how hoes we actually are. Here's the averages right now. Prices have increased 13.3% from January 2021 to June 2022 costing the average American household $718 more a month than they actually paid in 2020. Even if prices stopped increasing altogether, the inflation that has already occurred will cost the average American household $8,616 more over the next 12 months than it did in 2020. Today's video, we're gonna find out which states are getting hit the hardest with inflation. This is a statewide average. Keep that in mind before you leave your comment. If you're rich, it'll probably be more, and if you're living in a van down by the river, you might not even have noticed we got some inflation on. Get it? Got it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, Florida. Yep, we start this list off with the Sunshine State and how much more they're paying. Florida overall, outside the cities, is a fairly cheap place to live, but that's kind of, you know, not a thing right now. Things are more expensive there than a lot of other states, 40 others to be exact. The total inflation in Florida right now is 13.7% since January 2021. That means on average, they're paying about $772 more a month than they did back in December of 2020. Now compared to some of the other ones, on this list, their housing one, they call it shelter inflation, isn't that bad. It's only $109 more than it was back in 2020. Their transportation and energy are about the same as everyone else and their foods, $77 more a month than it was back then. That's not terrible. But overall, if you're living in Florida at the current rate of inflation, you're going to be paying an additional $9,259 annually. Number nine, Wyoming. This is another one that surprised me a little bit, but since everything has to do with transportation, you're gonna see a lot of middle America on this one. As fuel prices come down, a lot of these middle America states will start to kind of even out with the rest of the country. Transportation plays a big part in inflation. The total inflation in Wyoming right now is 14.9%. In Wyoming though, their inflation rates with food, inflation, shelter, transportation, energy, they're all about the same as everyone else. Food's $83 more. Shelter is 129, which isn't terrible. Transportation inflation is 361 and energy is 210. That's the one that's criminal is 210 extra a month. And that's how everyone is. Energy has just gone through the roof. But on average, you're paying an extra $9,438 annually compared to 2020 numbers. Number eight, Alaska. The last frontier is again taken in the pants when it comes to the cost of living. If you don't know, the cost of living in Alaska is really high, especially when it comes to anything that needs to be shipped there. Again, transportation costs money. Getting things places will raise the price of something. If you live someplace like Iowa, Kansas, I don't know, South Carolina, and go into a grocery store in Alaska, you'll get some serious sticker shock. I did. The total inflation of Alaska right now is 12.4% meaning the average Alaskan is paying $788 a month more than they did in 2020. Uh, their food's gone up a little bit more than the other ones. It's actually $111 higher. The rest are kind of on par with what everyone else has increased, give or take a few bucks. If you're living in Alaska right now, you can expect to be paying about $9,451 more annually than you did in 2020. Number seven, California. You'd probably expect California to be a little bit higher, but one of the things that keep their prices down and puts it at number seven instead of like number one is they've got all the different transportation hubs. Everything on the West Coast seems to flow through California in one of the many ports they have. And they were already pretty high. So, you know, it's kind of hard to move them a little bit higher than what they already were. Their total inflation is up 12.4%, making the average Californian pay about $791 more a month. Again, their food, shelter, and all that is about the same. 111 more for food, shelters, $94 a month. I would have expected it to go a little bit higher. Uh, transportation's 364, which is kind of on par, just like their energy, which is about $220 more a month. Yeah, California is another one of those states that's already 
crazy expensive and it's just gotten worse. Not as bad as I would have thought though. But if you're in California, you're looking at paying $9,492 more annually than you did in 2020. Number six, Nevada. Ah, that's kind of rough when prices go up in Nevada. I mean, how do you tell your cocktail waitress while you're at the penny slot? Sorry, I won't be able to tip you. We got this inflation on. By the way, if you don't tip those girls, you're not going to see them again. It's how it is there. I saw an old lady complaining one time that she couldn't get a drink. And this other lady sitting next to me goes, she never tips. I was like, yeah, that's why you're not getting a drink. It's pretty rough in Nevada right now. Their total inflation is at 14.9%, which means the average in Nevada is paying $805 extra a month. Foods, a little bit better than other ones. It's $85 more. Shelter, $132 more. Transportation is $369 more a month. Energy is about $215 more. So they're about the same as everyone else, but overall is where they get stuck here. If you're living in Nevada right now, you're paying $9,600. $63 more than you did in 2020. In case I didn't make it clear, if inflation continues to go up, these numbers will change. Make sure you stay till the end. Number one and two surprised me. Number five, Arizona. Arizona is getting expensive. That was one of the things that they weren't for a long time. That's why they got so many retirees. Well, a couple things. It was warm. Cost of living and housing were pretty cheap. That's not really as much a thing as it used to be, especially with this inflation. Their total inflation right now is 14.9%. That means in Arizona, you're paying an extra $807 a month compared to what you would have paid in 2020. Their food's gone up about $85 more a month. Shelter has gone up $133. Transportation has gone up about $370 a month. And your energy inflation is $215 more a month than it was in 2020. That is kind of brutal. Overall, if you're living in Arizona, you're going to be paying $9,687 more annually than you did in 2020. Number four, Illinois. Isn't Illinois one of those states where they're supposed to pay you to live there? Or is that just Southside Chicago? reality, most of Illinois is pretty decent. It's just they get such a bad reputation from Southside Chicago. You know it's bad when a few neighborhoods are so bad, it kind of destroys the reputation of a whole state. The total inflation in Illinois is 14.5%, meaning the average Illinois resident pays $808 more a month than they did in 2020. Food's up about $104. Shelter... Inflation is $80 more. Transportation is $393. That's getting up there. And energy inflation is $269 more. Overall, you're going to be paying $9,692 more annually than you did in 2020 if you live in Illinois. Now, for all of you internet sleuths out there that are dying to call me on how the total doesn't equal what I'm telling you, I didn't include the change. So it's going to be a couple bucks off if you got your calculator out or your abacus, whatever you're using. Number three, Minnesota. Yep, the land of 10,000 lakes made the list. Normally when it has anything to do with finance, you never see Minnesota. They're always kind of middle of the road. They usually show up when we're talking about mosquitoes, fishing, cold weather, and girls that wear really thick sweaters. That's usually it. But today here they are with a total inflation of 13.8%, meaning the average Minnesota household is paying $826 more a month than they did in 2020. Their food inflation is $94. Shelter is $66 more. That's not bad. Transportation is where they get stuck. That's $412. And energy is $254. Throw all that together in that big number blender and you come up with the average Minnesota household is paying $9,908 more annually than they did in 2020. Number two, Utah. Yeah, Utah has been getting a little expensive over the last decade or so. It's catching up with some of the more expensive states. They're still middle of the road, but they're moving on up. This inflation is just helping them get closer to the front of the line. Here they are at number two for inflation. The total inflation in Utah is 14.9%, meaning the average household in Utah is paying $881 more a month than they did in 2020. Their food is up $93, their shelter is up $145, transportation is up $404, and their energy costs are $235 more a month than they spent in 2020. The average household in Utah will pay $10,556 more than they did in 2020. That's just to maintain the same lifestyle they had in 2020. It's harsh. 
All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There's a link down below. It is gaining traction. We have a lot of teachers that reach out to me and tell me they're showing it to their class first thing in the morning. It's very school friendly, probably best for middle school on up, but it's pretty good. Anyway, on to number one. And number one, Colorado. Yes, surprise, surprise, Colorado made it to the top of this list, and it's not a good list to be at the top of. The prices are high, and I will refrain from making some joke about Rocky Mountain High. I wanted to, and as I was thinking about it, and I wrote it down, I thought, you know, that's just stupid. No one's going to get a John Denver reference. But Colorado has always been a little more expensive than some of the other states around it, and it's getting worse. The total inflation in Colorado is 14.9%, meaning the average Colorado household pays $908 a month more than they did in 2020. Food inflation is $96, shelter $149, transportation $417, and energy is $242 more. That means the average household in Colorado will pay an additional $10,898 annually compared to what they paid in 2020. That's rough. That is really rough. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a productive day, and be nice to each other.